I'm looking over here. I should be looking over here. Hello. <laughs> Let's start over. back to the channel okay well i shouldn't even be saying that i feel guilty every time i say welcome back to the channel because girl you just been posting shorts and welcome back to the channel as if like you were here two days ago welcome i'm maru lifestyle blogger and content creator and here on the channel i share all things home decor beauty fashion and so much more i'm putting an intro in here because i forgot to do an intro life has been going not lifing life has been going great and for the last long form video, you know all the updates that have been going on. I've been trying to balance work for myself now with keeping up the house and doing all the things that I was doing, home refreshing, stay tuned, whole lot coming. But girl, I am tired, or guy, if you're a guy watching this, I am tired. And so I'm like, wait a minute, you can't be uploading videos if you don't have an intro. So here we are uploading the intro. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you with me to Home Goods. So I'm going to pop out, show you the previous footage from a couple of days ago when I was at Home Goods and all the cute little things that I found for spring. Not a big haul, but some great items for different places in the room and some things that I have been looking for for a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and head out to Home Goods and then we'll come back and do a haul. Bye. <music>
really set on this. I don't know where I would put it, so I don't want to get it until I know for sure where I'm going to put it. Um, putting it on my mom's dresser is an option, but I'm thinking the bathroom toilet in my bathroom, I think this is too heavy. Like, I don't want her to knock it over. Anybody, like my nephew and her use the guest bathroom the most. So, we're just going to stick with what we have. This is good. This matches her bath rug very well, and it's very simple and clean line so yeah that'll be for her bathroom and then here i go after i say that then i see this oh, 24.99 no i don't want to pay any more than this is cute though i love this for my favorite flowers i just don't want to pay i can make this with stems from like you know michael's and then do the artificial water the gel I can make that because I have plenty of vases like look like this. Okay, let's move on. dark wood cutting board full story about that come in another video uh, I love the blues it's very much giving me like Greek Greece and I just watched um, Adam Sandler's movie and everything that was decorated in their house um, you know being of like Jewish culture it was blues and like a lot of beautiful blue and white tapestry and decor in their home um, the movie's called You're So Not Invited to My Bar Mitzvah. It was such a good movie on Netflix. But this reminds me of that movie. Like everything in their kitchen and stuff was um, blues and turquoises and so forth. Anyway, let's just keep going.
I did not notice the dog. So cute. <laughs> did he scare you? No, I, 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 yeah, I'm okay. I just, I didn't want to scare him. So I was like, calm down. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me clear the path for you. <laughs> He's so cute. He's too quiet. That's he, why he gets away. Oh, wow. So cute. Thank you. This is so adorable. Oh, my gosh. Mini bubble. That's a mini bubble one. I almost ordered an average size one, um, a regular size one on Amazon, but we don't need it. So, all right, let's get out of here. I think we got everything we needed. Well, we didn't get everything we needed, but we got what we need at this point, nothing else. All right, let's get out of here. love those it's really like spring like i love that Ooh, get these up love this this one is 19 that's so cool it's like a candle um hurricane 16 that is nice i love that hmm I think. I think where I would place those. I have an idea, but we're just gonna leave them there for now. But I love these. Oh my god. Okay, let's try to hide it. Let's try to hide it again. But at least we know that they're here. The home goods carries them. Okay. Let's head on out, y'all. This is so sleek. Love that. Loving it. Okay, let's get out of here. Very CB2 with the curved edges, curved corners, and I love the handle hardware. This reminds me of some tables I got from them some time back, but my table tops are smaller and then the legs are just all black. Cute. Oh, there's the sexy lamp in all black or bronze right there and then i love the sister lamp over there oh jesus mm. these lamps are nice 149 white and brown and i think that's about it i love a good marble and wood combination that is nice look at the bottom has a shelf at the bottom really cute okay let's take it on out and call it a night Box. That one is $24.99. That's cute. Loving. This is like my favorite section too. Coffee table books. Oh my gosh. At home on the water. 
loving this box. $24.99. I think that's a standard, it seems like a standard price for their decorative boxes of that size. Oh, look at those blue ones. Okay, so we're back now and I wanna just go ahead and show you all the things that we got. The day that I got back home, I had to basically fix dinner and do all this stuff, um, get my mom you know, ready for bed and so forth, take care of myself. I think I probably took a bath or something, so there was no time to haul, but we're hauling a couple days later today and I wanna show you all the things that we got. Okay, so starting with candles. If you're a candle lover, comment down below. What candle are you burning right now? What is your spring candle scent? I am not devoted to any particular line. Um, I do like a few black owned companies that I've stuck with. And so I keep ordering from them to keep my stash going. But if I see a candle out in Home Goods or wherever, I'm picking it up, even Ross. Um, but we're, this is a Home Goods, but this is a Home Goods haul. So we're gonna stick to Home Goods. So the one that I have here is by Red Leaf Home and it's Lemon Lavender. I love a good clean packaging, wooden uh, lid. You can reuse this later on if you wanna melt the um, you know, excess wax that's down at the bottom out and like put cotton balls, Q-tips. I just love a good clean package um, candle. It says um, lemon lavender, uh, coconut and beeswax blend with essential oils. And this was $7.99 from Home Goods. It smells like, it smells like, ivory soap which i probably should not be i don't know it smells citrusy and it smells lavender but it smells like something else is in it that gives it like this just kind of neutral fresh scent so it's not too lavendery it's not too lemony i hate like something that's too citrusy but this is not oh my god i love it so check this out home goods it is the red leaf home collection for 7.99 all right, next up, I'm just gonna do like the florals because I love a good tulip during the spring. Um, these I got for bathrooms. I have something like this already from when I was living in the DC area. Um, it's in the storage unit. It's in my storage unit, my garage. I don't know why I said the storage unit. It's out of my garage and it's similar to this. I don't know if it's the same thing, but if it's the same thing, I'm gonna put these, uh, the two of them on either side of like a bed, nightstand, my bedroom, guest bedroom etc because i just love how like simple this is you can paint the room any color you can decorate with a bedding any type of color and it just goes um very fresh clean aesthetic love a texture if you've been here on the channel you know i love a textured glass vase or jar or bottle or cup glass anything that's textured glass i'm fooling with it but look at that it's just like I don't want to say four leaf clover. I don't know what that is. It's not a four leaf clover child. Is that a four leaf clover? That is not a clover. Anyway, but look at it. Just oh, so pretty. Um, and this was the price I think I took up. I think this was $6.99 or $7.99. Um, I'll come back to that. I'll post it down in the um description box once I found the tag. This one was $14.99. And I, I think you saw me run for this, like first things first when I got into home goods, but this will go in the guest bathroom, the bathroom that my mom uses. I'm doing her bathroom over. It's black and white, black fixtures, white walls. Might paint the um, bathroom, but just being sensitive to color, kind of like trying to see what she likes. I think keeping it wet would be cool because it allows me to change out with the seasons, like the bath rugs, the shower curtain, and kind of keep it in neutral. Might do like a cream or some type of like high gloss paint, but that's in a very like creamy, beige -y type of color. Mm -hmm, beige. <laughs> but definitely we'll be changing out like her accessories and things on the countertop. So I love this. The countertops are white marble quartz or white quartz. And this will be a cute little pop of color with some other little things like towels and soaps and you know, her toothbrush holder and toothpaste da, 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 on the side. Um, soap dispenser, just adding some color to the whole black and white. And then the floors are like a white and gray marble tile. So love this, so cute, $14.99. Oh no, wait, $14.99 from Home Goods. All right, next up, oh girl. So 
This is in Target. This is in Target, but it was also in Home Goods, y'all. And this was $6.99. Y'all, let me find out they sound the same things. But this is so cute. I can use this in her bathroom on the countertop for like cotton balls, Q-tips, you know. I just love, you know, texture glass. But I just love the transparent pink, the clear pink type of, you know, vibe it's given. It's not too much. It's soft. It's spring. It's it's soft. It's soft. It's spring. It's chic. And it's affordable. All right. Next up, y'all, I have been, I mean, on my little list, since I got here two years ago, my little list always says decorative boxes, decorative boxes, decorative boxes. And I can never find boxes that I like that look like, I'm looking over here. I should be looking over here. Hello. <laughs> Let's start over. Okay. So back to what I was saying. I never find boxes that I feel kind of go with the vibe I'm going for. It's always too much going on, you know? So with that said, I got this one because she was on clearance, honey. It was originally $16.99 and she was $12.99 because her lid, baby, her lid has a chip right here that no, nobody's gonna know. What the meme say? Nobody's gonna know. But honey, that chip saved me $4.99. And look at that, when you take the lid off, it has that gold trim textured, textured. Oh, I love that the, the, the design. I love that the design and the texture changes like pattern direction. You know, I just love that. It, it's just so modern. It, it's given, it's given like CB2, but not their price. Shout out to CB2. Anyway, $12.99, excuse me, $16.99 marked down to uh, $12 because it was chipped. It was chipped and I'll take it. So probably gonna use this in my office because it's giving me the vibe of the white texture. I have a lot of white vases, wood, um, very, you know, modern, fresh, clean uh, type of vibe. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put it on my desk in my office. This one, I wanted to get a second one, but I couldn't find it and we were just not that pressed about decorative boxes that we need to be, you know, going from store to store to try to find a second one. I'll just see if I found another one that, that looks like this, but this one I'm gonna use in my bedroom on my nightstand. Um, the reason why is because it has more of a creamy ivory type of like marble hue. It's not as like jet pure white as this one is. This is more my office. And this reminds me of a lot of the um, stuff that I have like trays and different things for perfumes in my bedroom, my lamps, my headboard, kind of like cream, not white, you know? So this one has a gold stripe detail, which is also an accent on the marble pieces in my bedroom. And then inside, look at that marble gold girl. Oh, this one was on clearance too. Oh, so this one was originally... Well, I got it on clearance for $15, but I can't see the original price underneath. I don't even know why it was on. Oh, it was $19.99. This was $19.99 and it got marked down to $15. This one is much heavier than that one because this is, it definitely feels like genuine um, marble uh, quartz or, you know, marble stone, so to speak. So. Look at that. I love that modern kind of geo. Reminds me of that bedroom that I did the other day. The pink and white, you know, geo, modern geo type of triangle design or an accent wall. Stay tuned. I'm going to be revealing um, the final reveal of that room once um, her mom kind of adds the different things that she wants in. There are different things that she's adding um, to the space. And then we'll go back and do um, some photos and so forth. And then I'll reveal like final photos of the finished space. So stay tuned for that. All right, last but not least for decorative boxes is this girl. This is definitely giving me West Elm CB2, but no baby. This is $19.99, probably would be like $49.99 on sale at CB2. Um, this is a bone and resin box inside is like a black felt which is so sexy to me um, not that a box should be sexy but this has a modern black and kind of cream 
Design, Bone and Resin. The bottom is felt. And I'm definitely gonna use this in my living room. Downstairs is very modern, abstract art. And this is just what I was looking for for a specific area in the living room. So stay tuned for my spring refresh videos. You'll see where this will be placed. Once again, this was $19.99 from Home Goods. All right, let's wrap it up and move on into the kitchen. So for the kitchen, I'm gonna start with a little easy little thing to bring in um, are some uh, spring floral, black and white, I don't say tapestry, not tapestry, but it's like bird and floral, very spring uh, print. Uh, etoile, is it etoile? Yeah, etoile. Um, it gives me etoile, like that type of print that you'll see, you know, very Parisian, European inspired, where it's like, just like florals and birds and the same pattern repeated all over in black and white, or maybe like a blue and white. But this is not etoile. This is just cotton towels from Home Goods <laughs> with the black and white bird and floral print. This was $6.99 for how many? For two? Yeah, set of two towels. I'm gonna put these in the washing machine right after this video. But I'm just gonna hang both of them. Maybe I'll do one on the bar cart and then one on the stove. Yeah, so one on the bar cart, one on the stove, just to kind of have them out. They add decor, but they're so thick and plush, I cannot wait to actually use them. All right. All right, next up is this pestle and mortar set in a uh, marble, just like the um, box that I showed you before, the decorative box. Just solid, plain marble with like gray and, you know, ivory, brown, subtle tones. This was $7.99 for the set. And I just love it because it's not like a combination mixed material, mixed, um, media like you know wood and marble i have a lot of wood and marble pieces i was looking for one that was either solid block or one that was all marble and i was so happy to find this because honey we're about to be cooking okay and making our own spices and seasons and juices and berries okay <laughs> all right last but not least is my favorite of the stash after the decorative boxes no before the decorative boxes i'm obsessed with Clochets, cake domes, trays with a lid, anything where you could put croissants and like baked goods. And I love marble and I love glass. So y'all, yeah. doesn't this say spring? Oh my gosh, it is a marble and it has feet. A footed marble dome, okay? Dome tray, cloche. It, they call it a tray with a dome, a dome tray, but lidded marble tray, marble display, whatever you want to call it, honey, that's what it is, okay? But I love it because the shape of the glass lid is, I gotta wash this, but the shape of the glass lid is so cute. It has this beveled little bottom at the bottom. And then, oh, look, the glass doesn't slip and slide because it has a circular, groove or rivet for it to fit into the tray or the display tray. And yeah, I love it. And then it has feet, so it's off the ground. So like if I put on the counter near like the sink or anything that's like wet, it has air to kind of like, you know, breathe and not, I hate when something is like a tray is like, um, has like metal feet and then it starts to rust because of water or if it has like that felt at the bottom of it, like trays that have this at the bottom. Ugh, yuck, in the bathroom. When it gets wet, it's just like, girl, no. So, or this actually would be really cute in the bathroom. If you wanna do like, well, I'm not saying put this in the bathroom. I'm not telling y'all to do that. I, I'm i not, but I could see someone doing it. Underneath something like this, um, your washcloths rolled up, sponges, just, I mean, this is huge, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. You could use it for different things. I'm using it in the kitchen. That's it, period, point blank, end of discussion. But anyway, I'm long-winded and that's not what we came for. We came for the home goods haul and it's done, okay? Thank y'all so much for tuning into my video. I cannot wait to see you again. I think we're gonna drop the home refresh videos um, over the next two weeks. But before that, will be a Sunday, Monday weekly reset. That's coming next after this. 
And I really wanna do my Sephora savings event, but I may actually include my Sephora savings items, um, the products in my uh, weekly reset because we're resetting everything, okay? We're cleaning, we're organizing, we're meal prepping, you know, we're getting the refrigerator and groceries together, our HelloFresh meals, um, you know, workout plan for the week, what, a workout clothes laid out. I'm not playing, okay? Your girl is going on vacation, but I have some time before vacation to reset, recalibrate, and get it together. So we're doing all things. So maybe I could talk about my skincare and like beauty products in that video. I haven't decided yet. If I decide to do a dedicated video for the Sephora Savings event, it'll be before the last day, which is the 15th. And so I would need to get that out the same day as the weekly reset. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But let's just say, I thank you so much for tuning in. You did not have to be here, but you came by and I appreciate that. Thank you so much for rocking with me. And I cannot wait to take y'all on this journey of content galore because I have so much time now, so much more time to do what I was doing when I gained your subscribership. Is that a word? subscription see that's that's the thing I'm trying to do too much subscribership is not even a word it's subscription anyway love y'all bye <laughs>